Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good morning. Happy Monday, May 4th. We're coming to you live from Mystic Fitness. My name is Kelly. And this morning I'm going to lead you through a 60 minute power flow to get your week off to a good start, get your day going, get your body moving. It is a gorgeous sunny day after a beautiful sunny weekend. So feel free to bring your practice outside with you this morning and take your monitor out into any outdoor space that you have. Bring your mat out there, bring your water. Please make sure that you do have a couple of blocks with you. Good morning, Gloria. Thanks for joining us today. Please make sure that you please make sure that you have two blocks with you. Or if you don't have blocks at home, um, some good alternatives might be like a couple shoe boxes, maybe wrap a towel over them to soften the edges out a little bit, um, a couple thick books, um, really anything that can give you a little bit of support. Make sure that you have water um and grab your mat and just take a few minutes to settle in we'll get started in just a minute we come to you live every morning from mystic fitness at 9 a.m we stream live on facebook and instagram and then everything gets uploaded to our youtube account uh, we would love if you could hit the subscribe button on youtube as well and we're so glad that you guys are continuing your home practice with us. We love having you with us and bringing you a flow every single day. Good morning, everyone. So glad to have you. All right, it's nine o'clock. So we are going to go ahead and get started. If you give a donation of any size through our Venmo account, we do provide a mask as a thank you for your very generous and kind donation. Our masks are handmade by one of our instructors, Mary Beth, and they are incredible. Um, and we so appreciate your support during this time. And we want to be able to support you right back and help keep you all safe. So coming into a comfortable position on your mat, you can be seated or reclined, whatever is calling to you today, really take a moment to listen to your body. It's okay if every practice looks a little bit different because your body is in a slightly different state at any given day, at any given hour. So just take a moment as you arrive on your mat, as you arrive in your practice space, wherever that is, Take a moment to really tune into your body, maybe beginning a slow body scan. And you can start at the crown of your head, or you can start at the tips of your toes. It doesn't really matter. The idea is really just to slowly bring your attention to each individual part of your body, each muscle group, each joint, and just take a moment to feel the sensations there. Take a moment to listen to what your body is telling you about how it's feeling and where it is today. And just allow space for yourself, your physical self, your emotional self, wherever it is today. Take a deep breath in and a slow breath out. We'll open our practice with the sacred sound of Om. So if you are on your back, take a moment to just move slowly into a seated position. You can bring your palms over your heart space or take prayer hands. And we'll open our class, our practice with that sound of OM, but a cleansing breath first. So an inhale and exhale. A breath in. Oh. You can allow your eyes to open, hands come down. Let's have a beautiful practice today, everybody. Let's just say hello to our bodies, wake ourselves up with some gentle head rolls from left to right. 
And you can circle your head all the way around in a clockwise or counterclockwise motion if that feels good to you, or just keep it rolling from side to side in front or maybe in back, taking a breath in and out. Inhaling both arms up to the sky. Just start to circle out those wrists a little bit. It's super important to take the time to warm up the body, especially our hands, our wrists. They're very delicate, and we actually put, changing the direction of those circles now, we put a lot of pressure on our hands and our wrists in a power flow with all the planks and chaturangas. Same with our shoulders. Go ahead and work those shoulder rolls now. It's really important to take the time to warm up the body and cool down the body. It's so easy to skimp on those pieces of a workout or of a practice and just kind of jump right in to what feels like the hard stuff. But take the time to greet your body, to say hello, and to really meet it where it's at. Taking those shoulder rolls in both directions. And then just inhaling both arms up to the sky. Let's just take a gentle side stretch here. So right fingertips lower down to the right side and then just the left hand comes up and over, getting a gentle stretch to the left side of the torso. On a breath in, return back to center, both arms stretch up, and then left fingertips come down, right arm reaches up and over to the left. Feel that stretch through the right side of your core. On an inhale, come back to center, and then work that breath flow a little bit. So exhale to the right, inhale center, exhale left, inhale center. Let's take that one more time each side. Exhale to the right, breath in brings you to center, and then exhale to the left. Inhaling all the way up, getting a nice long stretch through the spine, and then let's transition into a tabletop. So you can just like roll right over the feet if that's available to you, and then you'll arrive in your tabletop on the palms of your hands and your knees making sure to align your joints so your shoulders stack over the wrists, your hips are over the knees, beginning with a neutral spine, gaze is towards the floor. We'll take some cat and cows here. So as you inhale, you open your chest, you tilt your tailbone to the sky for your cow. On your exhale, you curl the spine, tucking the tailbone under, bringing your gaze to your belly button for your cat. Breath in, opens the heart, belly button tilts to the floor. Exhale, round and tuck, pulling your tailbone under. Inhale, open. Now take this a few times at your own pace and you can work your elbows a little bit into the mix as well if that feels good for you. Make sure when you're rounding your spine that you're really pressing your palms into the floor and feeling that opening through your shoulder blades. One more, breath in and breath out. Returning to your neutral spine. We'll take a little twist here. So as you inhale, open your heart to the right side of your space, lifting right fingertips up to the sky. As you exhale, just lower that right palm back down to the earth, taking it really gentle here. Inhale, open, gentle twist through the spine. Exhale, return to center. One more time as you breathe in, opening up to the right side. And now this time as you exhale, you thread the right hand through that space between your left hand and left knee for a threaded needle pose. And you can rest your shoulder, maybe your head on your mat. Taking a breath here in and out. Now we inhale, opening back up to the right side of our space, and then exhale, lowering the right palm back down. Let's take it on the left side. So inhale, opening up, left fingertips drawn to the sky. Exhale, just lower the left hand to your mat. Inhale, open, and exhale, lower. Third time, inhale, opening up the heart, and then exhale, threading left hand through the space between right palm and right knee maybe lowering that left shoulder down onto the earth for a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, opens your heart towards the left side of your room. Exhale, lowers the left palm back down to the earth. 
Take a moment, just wag your tail a little bit, rocking the hips from left to right, left to right. Take a breath in and out. Right foot steps up in between the hands. You're in a low lunge position. If you've got those blocks or shoe boxes, whatever you've got for support near you, you can place them underneath your hands to just give your chest a little bit more lift. There's no need to crunch down onto that right knee. On an inhale, pull the hips back towards your heel for a hamstring stretch. On your exhale, press the hips forward for a hip flexor stretch. And then you can just rock the hips back and forth at your own pace, moving with your breath and listening to your body, moving at a speed that feels good for you. You're getting this amazing warm up in your hips and your, the backs of your legs here. Let's take it one more time in each direction. And then just gently return to that low lunge position. Swap out your legs. Left foot now steps up in between the hands. And you rock those hips back, feeling that amazing stretch down the back of the left leg. And then rocking the hips forward. And breathing in, breathing out. Taking that a couple times at your own pace. Moving with a breath pattern, though it doesn't really matter what that breath pattern is, just make it work for you. Okay, one more time, forwards and back, and then bringing yourself back to that neutral position, walking that left foot back behind you, moving those blocks to the side. I'm gonna grab a quick sip of water before we start to flow. Please feel free to take breaks for child's pose, shavasana, water, at any time that you need. This is your practice now more than ever, so please take the space to make it your own. Planting the palms, curling the toes under. Let's lift our hips up and back into our first down dog of the practice, keeping a gentle bend through both knees, maybe walking your dog out a little bit, giving a deeper bend into the left knee as you gently press left heel towards the floor and then taking a deep bend through left knee as you press right heel towards the floor. And just taking that a few times for each leg, walking it out as you breathe in and out. Your hands and feet can be as close together, as wide apart as you prefer. If you like a little more stretch through your hamstrings, you can walk your feet a little closer to your feet. If you want more stretch through your shoulders, go ahead and walk those hands a bit farther out. It's really your preference, what feels right for your body. If you're somewhere in the middle, no worries. Find what works for you. Take a breath in and a breath out. Feet walk forward to meet the hands. Inhale for a halfway lift, bringing your palms to your shins or your thighs. And just taking a moment here to press the crown of your head forward. Root the feet down into the earth. Feel that length through the spine. Breath in. And as you breathe out, breathe out, forward fold. Your next inhale will guide you up to standing, rooting those feet down into the floor, pressing soles of feet into your mat. Arms stretch to the sky. Palms come together. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Palms to shins or thighs. And exhale, fold, fingertips to your mat. Right foot takes a giant step back for your runner's lunge. Left foot steps back to meet it in a high plank. Hold your high plank for a breath in and out. Drop both knees to your mat and bend your elbows so that you lower your whole body down onto the floor. Palms are alongside the chest. Squeeze your glutes on an inhale. Open the heart for a low cobra using your core strength. On an exhale, toes tuck under, hips lift up and back, downward facing dog. Walk it out for a breath in and out. Feet walk forward to meet the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Next breath in, lead you all the way up to standing. Arms stretch to the sky, palms come together on your exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Fingertips to your mat, left foot takes a giant step back for your runner's lunge. Left foot steps back to meet it in a high plank. Holding your plank, breath in 
breath out. Knees drop to your mat, elbows bend, lower your body down. Inhale, opening your heart for a low cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walking it out for a breath in and a breath out. Feet walk forward to meet the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stretching tall all the way up to standing. Palms come together as you exhale, sink into your chair pose. Your feet can be together or hips width distance apart in your chair pose. It's really what feels good for your body. Personally, I prefer stacking my hips over my ankles and keeping them hips width distance apart, but feel free to play around with it a little bit and really take the time to think about what you prefer in your practice. Either one works just fine, but you sink your hips low, your chest is high and proud. Maybe put a smile on your face because the sun is shining today. And you're keeping the weight in your heels. The soles of your feet are also pressing into the floor, but you might be able to actually lift your toes up a little bit. You're doing an amazing job. Take a breath in and a breath out. Shifting the weight into your right leg, left foot steps back, landing in a crescent lunge. You can keep your palms at heart center for now, but I'd like you to bend that left knee so you're really in this low lunge kind of position and you're really forced to work your whole lower body. We're going to hold this and take a couple cat and cows. Your legs will stay stable as your upper body flows. My legs are screaming at me too. You are not alone. On an inhale, open your heart, open your wings. Exhale, draw the fingertips together as you curl the spine. Inhale, open. Exhale, curl. You've got this. Use your abs to make this posture work. Inhale, open. Exhale, curl the spine. Two more, you guys. Inhale and exhale, curl. Last one, open your heart wide. Keep that left knee bent. Exhale, curl. Beautiful. Inhale, extend the legs. Exhale, warrior two. Beautiful job. Arms stretching apart from one another. So right fingertips pull towards the right toes. Left fingertips pull towards the back of your mat. Breathe in, breathe out. Take a moment and scrunch your shoulders up to your ears like you're going to touch them to your earlobes and then relax them all the way back down. Like someone's standing behind you and they've got their hands just pressing down on your shoulders. Feel gravity doing its work there. One more breath in, breath out. Opening up to our goddess now. Take a moment, just straighten out those legs a little bit. Give your hips a little shake and a wiggle. And then sink your hips down. Find that nice, deep, beautiful goddess pose. Holding it for a breath in and a breath out. And then we transition to the left side, taking that crescent lunge on the left. So right knee takes that deep bend hands in prayer and then we inhale open the heart and exhale curl breath in and breath out for your cat take three more inhaling to open exhaling to curl noticing how your legs are totally stable your torso is moving but your legs are not you're so strong that was our last one inhale extending up Exhale, warrior two on the left side. Whew, take a breath in, let it go. <sighs> what a wake up for our week. My legs are already on fire. I'm already out of breath. I'm already sweating. I hope that you guys are too. Flip your palms up to the sky just to get a different sensation through the shoulders, but continue to stretch those arms apart from one another. Just holding your arms up like this is amazing strengthening work. Breath in, breath out. Go ahead, transition back to your goddess. 
Sinking those hips down, feel free to take a moment to step out of it, shake your hips from side to side, and then really sink back in. Toes are pointing out to the sides, heels are pulled in. Your knees are stacked over your ankles though here. Keep your heart nice and proud, breath in, breath out. Beautiful. Let's transition to a wide-legged forward fold here. So your heels are gonna stick out, toes are gonna come in, the opposite of your goddess. Take a breath in, lifting the arms up to the sky. On your exhale, uh, arms at shoulder height with a neutral spine, gentle forward fold. Just taking a moment, get a nice stretch through the backs of your legs, a little release through the lower back for a breath in and a breath out. On your next breath in, and using a nice neutral spine, crown of the head guides you, lift your torso back, up to center, feet step back together, take a breath in and really stretch tall to the sky on your exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Fingertips to your mat, right or left foot, takes a giant step back, either one is fine. Holding a high plank for a breath in and a breath out. Transitioning from here to a side plank, planting your right palm underneath the shoulder, rolling onto the outside of the right foot and opening your heart towards the left as left fingertips extend up to the sky. Feel free to take any side plank variation that you prefer. If you'd like to modify this, you can drop that right knee down onto your mat. If you'd like to take side plank tree, you can bring left foot to the right calf. Holding this for a breath in and a breath out. Gently transitioning back to your high plank, rolling forward on the toes, bending at the elbows, lowering down just a couple inches for your chaturanga. Shoulders stay over the elbows. On an inhale, opening up for your upward facing dog. Hips are lifted slightly off the ground. Glutes are squeezed nice and tight. Maybe staying here for an extra breath in. And then exhale. Downward facing dog, walking it out, maybe dropping your knees for a child's pose, maybe grabbing a quick sip of water. And then we all return to our downward facing dog. Walking it out for a moment, breath in. Breath out. <sighs> Inhale the right leg up to the sky. On your exhale, right knee pulled in towards the nose and plants in between the hands for your runner's lunge or foot plants in between the hands for runner's lunge. While you're in your runner's lunge, you can take those blocks and place them on either side of your foot and just rest your fingertips or your palms on top, just getting a little lift into your chest so that you're not feeling crunched down over that front leg. Take a breath in and a breath out. We're gonna go ahead and lift the chest off our thigh for an airplane lunge. So your legs are doing a tremendous amount of work here, holding your upper body in a stable position. Breathing in, breathing out. We'll hold this for one more breath. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Inhale, exhale. Next inhale, lifts your chest, finding your crescent lunge, making sure that you keep your shoulders relaxed. So you can extend them up to the, your arms up to the sky. Just make sure that you keep your shoulders away from your ears. I prefer a bent elbow position in this kind of goal post arms. Breath in here, breath out. Let's take some lunges here. So as we inhale, we extend our arms and legs. As we exhale, we bend both legs, coming into a nice slow lunge. As we inhale, press through that right heel, feel that right glute working as you extend, exhale, lunge. Let's take three more, three, Two, keep breathing, really press through that right heel, and one. As you inhale, extend, exhale, open, warrior two. Beautiful. Hold it here for a breath in and a breath out. 
Next inhale reverses your warrior. Your legs are stable, but your torso tilts back towards the left foot. Stay here for a breath in as you feel that stretch through the right side of your upper body. Breathe in, breathe out. Tilt your torso forward, keeping your legs stable, finding an extended side angle or a bent knee triangle. Maybe rotating that left arm a little bit if you're in that bent knee triangle. Making sure that you're really working that core to keep your upper body lifted and that you're not collapsing into the floor, but you're really working that torso to keep it slightly lifted. Another breath here in and out. Go ahead and reverse it one more time. Really feeling that lift through the ribs, the stretch through the abdominals, and then on an exhale, cartwheel the hands to frame that right foot. Right foot steps back, high plank. We'll take that side plank on the left side now. So left foot, or sorry, left palm plants underneath the left shoulder. You roll onto the outside of the left foot and open your torso to the right side of your space, lifting right fingertips up to the sky. Left knee can drop for modification. You're welcome to find any other variations that you prefer. We'll hold this for two more breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Slowly lowering your right palm back to the earth, finding that high plank position, rolling forward on the toes, bending the elbows, lowering down a couple inches. Inhale, opening to your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's walk it out for a moment here as we breathe in and out. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, left knee pulls in towards the nose, left foot plants between the hands, runner's lunge. Holding your runner's lunge, taking a moment to make sure that your left knee is stacked over that left ankle. Your right foot is on the ball of the foot so your heel is lifted. That left glute is working and you're pulling your thighs towards the midline of your body to keep your hips nice and square and to keep the insides of your legs super engaged. On your next breath in, lift to your airplane lunge. Keep breathing, inhale, exhale. Pull those shoulders back, pull the shoulder blades together, breathe in, breathe out. Next inhale, lift you up to your crescent lunge, making sure that that left knee is still stacked over that left ankle. Take a breath in and a breath out. And then we take those lunges. So inhale, extend the arms, extend the legs, exhale, bending down. And now as you push off, press through that left heel, press through that left glute, and then exhale, lunge. Three more, three, two, last one, Woo, a little wobbly here, and then as you lift up, you'll open warrior two. Let me turn around here. So your left knee is stacked over the left ankle, arms are extending apart from one another. <clears throat> On your next inhale, tilt the torso back, reverse your warrior, keep your legs nice and stable, get a lift through your ribs as you stretch back. On a breath in, tilt the torso forward, bent knee triangle or extended side angle. Go ahead and rotate that shoulder on the right side a little bit maybe. That feels good. Breath in, breath out. One more inhale to reverse, get that lift through the ribs as you tilt back, feel that amazing stretch through your torso. And on an exhale, cartwheel the hands down, framing that left foot, left foot steps back, high plank, holding your high plank. I'm gonna turn <laughs> just so I'm in position for the next round. Holding your high plank. Let's take a toe tap here. I love to do 
plank based ab work because planks as much hype as they get as core work they really are a whole body move so your shoulders are getting work right now your chest is engaged your glutes are working super hard right now and your core is also so it's really an amazing move so let's take that toe tap right toe step off your mat and back to center left toe step off your mat and back to center and this whole time that you're toe tapping imagine you're balancing a cup of coffee on your back so you're trying to keep your torso and your core very stable and steady let's take five more five four you guys are awesome three you're so strong two almost there last one drop the knees bend the elbows Whew. inhale for a low cobra exhale let's take a child's pose drop those hips back towards your heels extend the arms forward Whew. take a moment here to just let your breath settle back out a little bit Maybe grabbing a quick sip of water. All right. Take a breath in and a breath out. Tucking your toes under, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. Inhale the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, knee pulls in towards nose. Right foot plants, runner's lunge. Breath in lifts you to an airplane lunge. Holding it here. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale, lifting the chest. Crescent lunge. Kick off with that back foot. Finding a high knee. Left knee is pulling in towards your chest. You can bring your palms to heart center. I'd like to do those curtsy lunges that we've done the last couple weeks. I love them. They're such amazing strengthening, such an amazing strengthening move for your glutes. So that left foot is going to step back towards the right side and land on the ball of your foot as you drop into a deep lunge and then kick off. Left knee pulls back to center. And four, three, that right glute is working super hard. You got this. Two, and one. Beautiful. Transitioning from high knee into an airplane, hinging on that right hip, kicking that left foot back behind you. The crown of your head is stretching forward, so your gaze is towards your mat. Shoulders pull away from the ears. That left foot is flexed, so your toes are pointing towards the earth, and the heel is pressing away from you. Breath in, breath out. Slowly dropping that right foot down, landing on the ball of your foot. Crescent lunge, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, opening, warrior two. Making sure that the right knee is stacked over that right ankle. Breath in, breath out. <sighs> Inhale, reverse. Exhale, bent knee triangle or extended side angle. On this second set, if you would like to take a half bind or a full bind by dropping that left arm back behind you and then reaching under that right leg to grab it, you're welcome to. If that bird of paradise is in your practice, you're welcome to take it there. Whatever variations that you enjoy, we'll stay for two breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, lifting your torso up to a warrior two, and then transitioning into a goddess by turning the both feet so that heels are in, toes are out, sinking the hips down, knees are stacked over the ankles, breath in, breath out. I promised you power, so inhale, lift, and exhale, sinking down into your goddess. You can bring those elbows down into a bent goal post position with you. Inhale, press through the soles of your feet to lift. 
exhale, pulling down. Beautiful. Imagine you're lifting a weight here. Inhale, pressing the soles of your feet in, and then exhale, sitting back down. Let's take that one more time. Inhale, pressing up, feeling that engagement through the legs. Exhale, pulling down. Beautiful. Inhale, exhale. We'll transition from here to a warrior two on the left. So we turn the right foot. Turn the left foot, left knee stacks over the ankle, hips are open to the right side of your room. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, extended side angle, bent knee triangle, whatever your preference, half bind, full bind, bird of paradise, make this practice your own. Breath in, breath out. Inhale and exhale. Opening back up to your warrior two and then turning the hips to face that left foot. We'll kick off into that airplane, holding it. Right foot is flexed, right toes are pointing down towards the earth, right heel presses away. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, exhale. I think we missed our crescent lunge on this side, so let's just drop that right foot back down. Take two breaths in our crescent lunge here. Inhale, exhale. One more breath in and a breath out. Beautiful. Kicking back off into airplane and then lifting that right knee as you hinge back up to a standing position. We <laughs> are standing with our left foot rooted into the earth, right knee pulled in towards the chest. We'll take those curtsy lunges on this side now. So left foot slowly plants down towards, sorry, right foot slowly plants down towards the left side as you lunge, and then pressing off through that left foot and left glute, pull that right knee towards the chest. Step back, curtsy, step off, high knee. Three more, lunge and lift, two more, find that high knee, last one, and Beautiful. Let's go ahead and just plant that foot down. Standing with the feet about hips width distance apart. Inhale both arms up to the sky and just exhale forward fold. Let's find a ragdoll for a moment. Wrapping each hand over the opposite elbow. Swing gently from left to right. Breathe in. Breathe out. Releasing your hands, inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Right foot steps back, runner's lunge. Left foot steps back, high plank, holding your plank here for a breath in and a breath out. Let's take some mountain climbers here. I'm already dripping sweat, so why not? I hope you guys are too. Uh, for your mountain climbers, your right knee will pull in towards your navel and then step back as your left knee pulls in towards your belly button and you swap. And so it's right, left, right, left, right, left. And again, you're trying to keep your core as stable as possible, keeping your shoulders stacked over your wrists. Let's take a count of 20, 20. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bend the knees. Bend the elbows as you lower your torso down. Inhale for a low cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walking it out. Breath in. Breath out. Maybe grabbing a quick sip of water or a child's pose to allow your breath to even out a little. Oh, beautiful. All right. From our 
downward facing dog feet walk forward to meet the hands inhale halfway lift exhale fold next breath in lead you all the way up to standing arms reach up to the sky and then palms can come to heart center move into a little bit of balance here so take a moment and just ground down into your mat palms are together in prayer the soles of your feet are pressing down into your mat like you've dipped them in paint and you're trying to leave your two very clear footprints on your mat so you're spreading your feet out into the floor and then you're feeling that engagement spreading from the soles of your feet up your legs into your pelvic floor and your abdominals into your glutes take a breath in and a breath out inhaling both arms up to the sky up towards the sun we're going to begin in a standing half moon so your right hand will grab your left wrist your elbows are kind of framing your ears keeping your shoulders relaxed take a breath in stretching through your ribs as you breathe out you'll stretch your torso up and over towards the right side of your room you're getting a gentle stretch through the left side of your body and you're breathing in to create length through your ribs length and lift so that you're not collapsing into your right side body imagine you've got a balloon stuck to the right side of your rib cage so you're lifting up and over that balloon to avoid popping it now releasing your arms and shifting your weight into your right foot we're going to slowly lift the left leg and kind of tilt the torso deeper towards the right not a full half moon just a gentle balance if you can or if you'd like to try you can get some leg lifts on the left side here gently kick that left heel a little higher and then lower and nine eight seven six five four three two one lowering that left foot down lifting your torso back up to center lower the arms down just give yourself a little shake a little sway from side to side breathe in breathe out and now we'll take it on the left so feet root down into the earth oh i can really feel it in that left glute inhale both arms up to the sky this time your left hand will grab your right wrist take a breath in and lift through your spine and your ribs really creating a lot of length and then as you exhale you bring your body up and over towards the left side so you're creating this long stretch through the right and just a gentle softening through the left now it's also really important in your standing half moon that you're keeping your shoulders and your hips in one plane that they're remaining in alignment so you can imagine that you're standing stuck in between a window pane and so you've got this piece of glass pressing against your front and your back and it's keeping your shoulders and hips in alignment <clears throat> preparing for the balance now so we release our hands shifting weight into left foot gently lifting the right using your core strength to keep your torso gently lifted and now we can pulse that right leg for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 three two one lowering that right foot down inhale stretching up exhale releasing the arms giving a little shake from left to right breathe in breathe out maybe grabbing another sip of water ah and now we'll take a dancer followed by a balancing half moon so we'll get that full expression of the half moon here so for your balancing half moon you might want to have a block near you so that you can place it down to help with the transition from your dancer i'm going to show this from the side so standing with your feet together you'll inhale both arms up to the sky your left hand draw or sorry right hand 
drops alongside the right hip and bending that right knee, you reach around and grab that right foot or ankle with your right hand. You inhale and stretch through the spine. You exhale, right foot kicks, finding your dancer's pose. Your hips stay square towards the front of your mat in your dancer as your right leg kicks back and your left arm reaches forward. Breathe in, breathe out. We'll slowly transition to that balancing half moon by releasing the right foot and tilting the torso a little bit more forward. Then you open your hips and open your chest as you extend the right fingertips up to the sky. That right foot, right in the right leg, are lifted. Breathe in, breathe out. Pressing through that right glute to keep that right leg extended, using your core strength to keep your torso lifted. Breathe in, breathe out. As you gently release, see if you can square your hips, and just find an airplane for a moment. Just see if you can square out your hips and chest one, once more. Same as when we began. And then inhale, come to, st come to standing. Give your body a little shake. Maybe shake out that left leg a little bit. It got a lot of work there. And then we'll take it on the left. So we inhale, both arms up to the sky to begin. As you exhale, left hand drops alongside left hip. And then bending left knee, you reach around, grab that left foot or ankle from behind. Inhale, stretch through your torso. Exhale, Ooh. exhale, once you're stable, go ahead and kick that left foot back. Reach that right arm forward all the while, keeping your hips nice and square. We'll open them up in just a minute. Right arm reaches, left leg kicks as you breathe in and breathe out. Releasing left foot, gently tilting the torso forward. Your right fingertips can reach down to a block. As your hips open, your heart opens, left fingertips reach up. That left glute is working super hard to keep that left leg lifted, keeping it level with your torso as you breathe in and breathe out. Keeping a micro bend in that standing leg can really help with your balance here. One more breath in and breath out. As you release, see if you can square your hips, square your chest, finding that airplane for a breath in and out. Gently releasing that foot down to your mat, giving your hips a little wiggle and wobble from side to side. Inhaling both arms up to the sky. Exhale, finding a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fingertips to your mat. Stepping back, just coming into a tabletop for a moment. Let's take a couple cat and cows. Inhale, opening the heart, tilting the tailbone up. Exhale, curling the spine, tucking the tailbone under. Breathe in, breathe out, inhale, exhale, finding a nice stable tabletop, a nice neutral spine position. Gently extend the right leg back towards the rear of your mat and your right foot is flexed so that your toes are pointing down towards the earth. We'll begin with just a toe tap. So right toes tap down to the floor and then lifting back up, keeping your core nice and stable. Take that two, three, four, five. Now, keeping your core nice and stable, tap the right toes out to the right side and then up and over to the left. And we take that four, three, and two, 
And last one, keeping your core nice and steady, tap over to the left, and then bring it back up to that lifted position, bend the knee, keeping that foot flexed, lift that knee up like you're giving a footprint to the ceiling for five, four, three, two, and one. Just a little extra glute work there for you. Let's take it on the left side now. So left leg lifts up and back. It's, at, it's level with your spine at first, and then we take that tap for five, four, a slow isolated movement, three, two, and one. Now left toes step to the left, and then up and over to the right. And it's a nice slow movement for four, isolating into your glute, three, your core is super stable, two, and the last one, tap to the right, and then that left knee bends. Give that ceiling a footprint for five, four, three, two, and one. Lowering that left knee down. All right, let's press our hips back for a quick child's pose. Just extend the arms forward for a breath in and a breath out. And then toes tuck under, hips lift up and back for your downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up to the sky. As you exhale, right knee pulls in towards your nose and lowers down as we transition to a pigeon. So the left leg reaches back. The right thigh is parallel to the right edge of your mat. And I'd encourage you to take a block or some kind of towel or something, a support and place it underneath that right hip so that it stays level with its partner on the left. You can just surrender your torso over that front leg and you can keep your elbows and forearms resting on the floor with your torso a little lifted or you can just like fully surrender down. It's really whatever feels good for you. We'll stay here for a couple breaths, breaths getting a nice, deep stretch into the right hip. Breath in and out. Inhale, exhale. One more breath in and out. Planting your palms underneath you. Tuck the left toes under and lift yourself up and back into a three-legged dog to start so that you can circle out that left hip a few times. And then when you're ready, you'll float the right, sorry, circle out that right hip a few times. You'll float right finger, right toes down to the earth. Left foot floats to the sky. Exhale, pull left knee in towards your nose. Lower that left leg down on your mat. Maybe place that block underneath the left hip now. Right foot, right leg stretches back behind you. Gently surrender your chest and your torso down towards your mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, exhale, giving yourself some time to just let your breath even back out, letting yourself feel a delicious stretch through that left hip. One more breath in and a breath out. Placing your palms underneath your shoulders, tucking the right toes under, lifting your hips up and back. Circle out that left hip a couple times in each direction, and then left toes flow back down towards the earth, maybe walking out your dog for a moment as you breathe in and breathe out. And dropping your knees to your mat. Just turn gently over onto your back. We'll take 
an inversion as our last posture before our final Shavasana. So for your inversion, you'll want a block or some kind of support to place underneath your lower back. We're coming into a waterfall or a supported shoulder stand. So bending your knees and planting your feet into the floor, you'll lift your hips up, place a block underneath your lower back. It's the flattest part of your back, like right above your booty is where that block will want to go. And then with your lower back resting on that block, you can extend both legs up to the sky. Maybe you even extend your arms up to the sky as well. And this just allows the blood to drain from your extremities back down towards your heart space. Take a breath in and a breath out. And maybe you wiggle your toes and your fingers. Maybe you circle your wrists and your ankles a little bit. And just getting out any Lots of movements that your body is calling for before we settle into the stillness of our Shavasana. Uh, maybe removing that block from underneath you and just taking a happy baby for a moment, grabbing your big toes or the insides of your feet and just kind of rocking from side to side for a breath in and a breath out. And then just releasing your hands and feet, stretching your legs out long in front of you, settling in onto your mat for your Shavasana. Finding a position that is comfortable, finding a position you can allow yourself to sustain in stillness. And as you bring your awareness to your body, into your breath, just begin to take note of how your body feels now after your practice. Noticing without judgment, without any evaluative nature. Just kind of, kind of observing as a neutral party, scanning through your muscle groups, noticing anywhere that still feels tight <clears throat> or constricted. And as you're breathing in and pulling that life force energy in, see if you can allow a softening to come through those tight places. And allow yourself to just kind of melt away into your mat like a puddle of water spreading across the floor. Just kind of allow yourself to be limitless. No tension, no boundaries, no constriction. Breath in and out. You can slowly bring yourself to a seated position, keeping your eyes closed if possible. And we'll close out our practice the same way we began with that sacred sound of Om. So bringing your palms to heart center, we'll just take a cleansing breath first. Inhale and exhale. Breath in. Oh. Thank you so much for joining me, whether you were with us live or finding us later on at another day and another time. We're so glad that you're keeping Mystic a part of your home practice. Um, if you aren't finding this live, we're also on YouTube. Um, everything gets uploaded there as well. So there are many ways to find us and we're so glad that you guys are. I hope that you have a beautiful day beautiful week. Enjoy this wonderful weather and we will see you guys soon every, every single day streaming live at nine. Bye.
perfect.